Mike, the item left out on the ballot for some voters is a sales and use tax proposition. If it's passed, it would raise the sales tax rate by 2% at locations that aren't already utilizing the state's maximum rate of about 8%. Now, the error impacts 900 voters, all in emergency service District 9, which is near Leander. And to you, I say, I'm sorry. And Williamson I County is apologizing I, for an error on some of its ballots. There are things we can't get wrong, and in this instance, we got it wrong. In 2021, voters approved incorporating about 900 people into a district near Leander. Those residents should be voting on a sales and use tax proposition this election. But the county says the question is missing on the ballot. Oh, doesn't that make you scratch your head, right? How does something like this get missed? The, the way that it got missed is because somebody didn't do their job. County Judge Bill Gravel says a county employee is liable, although he wouldn't say who did it. He did say that person no longer works for the county. There's nothing worse that can happen to a voter than for you not to be able to vote in an election that you should. Out of the roughly 900 people who are impacted, 18 of them have cast a vote. For those 18 voters, they won't be afforded the right to vote on this proposition. Starting Friday, any residents who are missing the proposition will receive a second ballot. Voters will turn it in in a separate box and counting machine. The integrity of the election has not been compromised. With a little more than a week until election day, the county asked residents not to let the error sway them from voting. Our polling places are safe. They're free for everybody to go to, and I don't, I don't want to and still any fear in anybody, please go exercise your right to vote. Williamson County said it was actually a voter who notified them of the omission, and right now county officials said they're going back to check all the other emergency service district elections happening in the county to make sure that this is just an isolated incident, and so far they say it is. In Georgetown, Lauren Rangel, Fox 7 Austin News.